What's going on guys? Charles Sarita here, back for another weekly update at Function Factor Performance. So we finally got uh, Brian's Blazer out of here to Troy's shop. Troy's working super hard on that thing, getting that LS3 E-Rod swap in here. Replacing on the lift, we've got James's, uh, I believe it's a 2006 Chevy Corvette. It's blown and intercooled, got that nice Pro Charger on it, and he's doing some super goofy stuff on it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil the details yet, so I'll let him do that. And additionally, we got some super rad transmissions over here for Franks and Yolandis. Uh, Ford Mustang over in Avondale. And these things are rated for almost 1500 horsepower. So super sick to have these things. Shout out to Power By The Hour for getting these done extremely fast. These came in less than two weeks. Another thing that happened behind me, we've got my Ford Mustang EcoBoost. Engine came out of it. Super, super thank you to everybody here at Function Factory Performance. They really stepped up. We got that block out of there in record time. Huge thanks to Justin for putting some big work into that thing. And Jesse, Jesse Ringling from Engineered Motorsports Solution is gonna be flying down here probably in December time and he's gonna be disassembling this motor and then reassembling with his EMS block that features Molly, a custom one-off, the world's first Molly 10 to one piston for the EcoBoost. So we're hoping to make some rad sounds and it has boost line rods, which we believe and I believe and Jesse believes and I think everyone believes is one of the best rods on the market handles over a thousand plus horsepower and it's paired with some king bearings. If we've got some time, we'll put some forward performance cams. Definitely need some new valve springs. We already went over that guys. Smash the valve, smash the head. So we need to get that going. We got our Motul rack. So shout out to Motul USA, our official lubricant provider of Function Factory Performance. And, and to kind of roll into that guys, we went racing this weekend. So I got to do Got to play my little dream. Got to go out in Marissa Hansen's uh, 2014 GTR Track Edition. Beautiful car. It performed flawlessly. Why? First off, I know so from the multiple brake fluid that we we replaced as we had some heavy braking out at the Bondurant track and the Toyo R888Rs that we equipped on this vehicle. Big shout out to Toyo for providing those tires in record time. And again, this car came together very short to get in preparation for this event. And you know, I am really psyched about it. There's some really cool footage that we got here. And also, Wes and Marissa placed first place over at, uh, during their race. So big congrats to them. And that should secure their championship for the COVID 2020 season of NASA Arizona. So guys, I wanna talk about something most automotive business owners don't talk about. Let's talk about sales and where we're at at this current point in time. So I've reached out to over 30 plus vendors in the past couple days to see what's going on in their world of things. And you know, the exact same, I keep getting the exact same answer and it also applies to us. Sales are down and they are down. It's not like they're down, it's like they're way down. And we're kind of trying to figure out what, what's going on here. We're kind of looking at some old analytical data. I'm looking at other stuff from other people that they're providing me. And we've kind of come to a conclusion that, again, I don't like to get in this topic, but we truly believe the election is playing a huge role in this, where the ad space is kind of all messed up. And additionally, I think a lot of people are waiting for Black Friday. But guys, listen to me. I want your input on what's, what are you thinking? What's, why are you holding off on a big purchase or even a smaller purchase? Or is there anything we can do to help incentivize you to get to buy parts from us? Because our situation is a little different. Obviously, if I need parts, I need fluids, I need a turbo, I'm gonna get it. But I understand well, some people are not in the same situation, so I wanna understand how we can understand you better. Big shout out guys I wanna make is Apex Motor Club and One Armor Detail. One Armor protected Marissa's 2014 GTR with the Expel PPF and we've been heading out to the track. This is our second track event with this car and without this PPF of application, that car would have been absolutely destroyed. So huge shout out to Hugh. Additionally, they provided, a, they provided Wes Hansen's 2010 Nissan GTR with a brand new windshield and track film, which has proven highly effective, especially when you get sprayed with dirt from Tajan and all the other competitors. And of course, can't forget Apex guys. Huge shout out to them. We've been doing uh, a number of videos for them. They've got their winter marketing series. So we wanna put a little snippet of what we've been working on there. And unfortunately, we haven't really gotten to go out and play yet because my Mustang's broke. 
The Raptor still hasn't gotten its performance upgrades, but stay tuned guys, because once we get this thing back on the road and we got the Raptor going, we're gonna be out there on the dirt course. We're gonna be out there on the road racing uh, track, testing, improving our products as we have no stop to uh, providing you guys with real data. And to kind of wrap this up guys, again, I'm Charles Cerrito. Follow us here, Function Factor Performance, FF Performance AZ on Instagram. We are working on updating this thing. I'm doing my damnest to get there, ensure all the content that has been happening over the past couple months, guys. And again, we'll be back for another update next week.